Hello everyone and welcome back to Spectacle Island. This is the co-op multiplayer with Nordic Farming and we are now on episode 4. Hey Nordic, we're just in the kitchen getting ready to uh, start our day 4 of busy farming. And yeah, we have a lot on the schedule. Last time we were busy doing some logging uh, around the farm and at field number four where we cleared some of the trees and yeah um it was a little bit chaotic last episode uh there was a lot going on and um had a few bugs to contend with uh which made the gameplay uh, a little bit frustrating but also hilarious at the same time with the uh, logs um appearing and uh disappearing for myself and nordic but yep, yeah, we have a... Just given us a two. Um, I'll uh, explain to you what we've got planned for today. Um, I'm just jumping in the harvester, as you noticed. And the reason for that is our crops. The first two fields, uh, field number 12 and field number 15, are ready to harvest. In field 15, we have oats. And in field number 12, we have soybean. So yeah, both are ready to harvest, um, and Nordic is going to be going to the shop to pick up a baler, as we're going to need to deal with the straw that comes from harvesting the oats, and we also have straw me enabled, so we're going to get um, soybean straw um, from the sh soybean crop. But yeah, I'm over to the shop first of all, because... We want to get a bigger header. Um, it's a header that's double the size of this one. So, uh, yeah, going over to the shop with the harvester to sell the header and the trailer and then buy a newer, bigger one. I might let uh, Nordic overtake because uh, we're slower than him. There he goes. Oh, and now I'm stuck on a bush. There we go. Cool. So yeah, Nordic's going to go to the shop as well. Pick up our new baler. Uh, we also need a bale fork, which uh, is going to help us later on when it comes to loading all the bales we're going to create. Um, but yeah. I will see you over at the field with our new header. Right, so we are at field number 15. This is the one with the oats seeded in it. Um, so yeah, Nordic and I are going to harvest the uh, opposite fields to which we seeded. Obviously we seeded field number 12 with the soybean um, in episode 2, I believe it was. So yeah, if you haven't seen that already, check that out. But yeah, this is our new header. Um, it is double the width of the previous one. I'll just give you a, a quick show of which one it is. Um, so the one we sold was the Class C510, which is 5.1 meters width. And the one we've bought is the Draper Stream 900, which is a lizard, uh, and that is nine meters. So 
yeah just under um sort of double the the width of it and uh yeah it's compatible with um the class harvester and also you might have noticed that i've been able to uh, customize it with the class colors which uh yeah it's really a nice touch uh, as you can see Nordic has bought the John Deere 690 baler which is a great baler and um, one that I have used on my Little Norton series um, I actually bought that in my last episode of Little Norton episode 8 I believe it is um, so yeah uh, please do check that series out if you're interested in seeing that in action but yeah you will see that in action in today's episode here as well but yeah, let's uh, crack on harvesting our oat and we should hopefully see a nice swath coming out the back. Let's make sure that's turned on. Lovely job. So, the uh, plan of attack is I'm obviously going to be harvesting. When I get to 80% full, I'm going to switch on the beacons and give uh, Nordic a bit of a heads up that uh, we're ready to dispense some of the oats and whilst he is carting he's also going to use the baler to collect up the straw from the oats and um, I'm thinking he might also bring the bale trailer uh, here with the front loader and the new uh, bale fork that we've purchased to start getting the bales manually uh, loaded up so yeah, we've got uh, quite an operation planned this afternoon. Obviously got to harvest this field with the oats and uh, we'll trade places to um, do the soybean field. So Nordic will switch to doing some harvesting and I'll switch to doing some baling and uh, parting of the grain and also collecting up the bales to put on the trailer. Um, my thoughts are we'll probably keep um, some of the straw bales from the oat which is just standard straw for when we plan to do some animals in the future um, but the soybean straw we are probably going to sell straight away as uh, we get a pretty decent price for that and yeah soybean straw is probably a bit too rich to be using for animal purposes but you can uh, it's just that you might as well when you have more valuable bales sell them and use the less valuable ones to send to the animals Ooh, so just doing the headland nicely on this uh, oat field uh, getting up to near 50% full we'll probably be up to 60-ish when uh, we complete the headland is my, is my guess um, yeah, let's uh, just raise that and reset. Yeah, let us know how you uh, feel about the header. Um, for me, it seems like a good choice. Um, it's not a class one, but it works with a class, and the fact that we can colour it, uh, yeah, it goes really well. Um, or if there's anything else uh, that we're using, feel free to drop us a comment. Let us know your thoughts or give us some tips and tricks about anything else we should try. Cool, I can see Nordic has pulled up ahead of me with the grain trailer. And yeah, we're 65% full, so probably going to be more than 70% by the time we finished the headland, which is good. The yield of the field looks very good. It was, of course, fertilised, uh, ploughed, so we should be getting maximum benefits from it. So I'm probably going to turn round up here I don't think Nordic is in his tractor so he must be somewhere else let's take a quick look 
where he is. Ah, he's in the Schluter, and he's probably going to use that for the bailing. So for pulling the baler, and use the Fent for the carting. So, yeah, I think we just crack on, get a full harvester, and we can just pause for a brief moment until he arrives and can uh, come empty us. But yeah, the uh, new header is making light work of this field. So yeah, going to crack on with harvesting this. Nordic will cart it. And then see you in a short while. Right, there we are. We have finished harvesting our oats. We had, uh, I think, nearly two full trailers, uh, which is which is really really good. So I'm just going to uh, drop off the uh, header. Uh, just want to make sure I've got the direction right for getting out of the field. Yeah. So let's uh, lower it there and detach. We'll keep the harvester unfolded, but. Get it hitched up for when uh, Nordic is going to need it to harvest the soybeans in the next field. Uh, Nordic has uh, made a good start on baling uh, using the new Don John Deere baler uh, 690 and the Schluter. So quite a few bales here and uh, I think that's causing the game to just jump around slightly. Um, but yeah, whilst he's finishing the uh, lines of straw into bales, I'm going to take uh, this trailer uh, back to the farm to be emptied. Um, so the trips that Nordic has done back to the farm with uh, the oats thus far have gone into the farm's silo. And uh, I think we've got around 11,000 litres of oats. Uh, they're going to be stored to be used for uh, some animals that we are going to get in the future. And um, yeah, you might have guessed it, probably going to get some horses as they uh, take oats. But the remainder we are going to sell. So the plan is I'm going to drop these at the um, 
the silo that is next to the ferry which uh, you can see just across the uh, water there so yeah just going to quickly nip back drop the oats into the harbour silo I think it's the harbour silo is that what it's called and then uh, we'll dash back to the farm and start helping Nordic with the bales Right, so we're going to leave the vent here and we are going to go to the harbour and get in the boat which is there and take the oats to the boat unloading station number one where the price is better. Oh, so here we are in the boat which has got a uh, grain storage. So if we press R we should be able to there we go, fill it with the 13,000 litres of oats which we've got. And yeah, if we have a little look, uh, the best price is the soy milk factory, but we're going to take the boat. So, boat unloading station one. So, get the engine started. We can back up and refill the fuel tank. These boats are very thirsty on the fuel. There we go, full. Fuel is quite cheap, though, for the boats. Uh, I don't feel like the tank is very big, as it seems to drain quite quickly. Here we go, we are cruising at a uh, a nice 18 mile an hour, but probably uh, knots in uh, nautical terminology. And um, we'll be taking a very similar trip to uh, what we did last time. Um, so just past this opening will be heading starboard which is right towards the bridge um, but we'll keep going right of that um, to then reach boat unloading station one Approaching boat station one. Just slow it down. And then hopefully, yeah, here we go. We should be able to unload our oats. And it's around £2,000 a litre. Yeah, £28,684, which is awesome. Cool. So we're just going to leave the boat there, uh, conscious of time, and we need to get back to Nordic to help carting the soybean. So here we are back at the field and oh the trailer looks to be 42% full so actually I think we can probably make use of the time to get the, uh, the boat back to where we need it to be. Right, so we are back from selling the oats at the boat unloading station and our next job is going over to field number 12 where Nordic has been harvesting the soybean and uh, he's been placing the soybean in the trailer. Um, the yield of soybean is uh, naturally lower than that of oats or wheat or barley so yeah not many uh, trailers 
to have to cart. Um, so we're going to crack on with baling. Um, but the main reason for selling some of the oats and getting the profit from it, and then, yeah, we'll be selling the soybeans as well to get the profit from it, is we're going to look to buy a new tractor. We have a lot of bales, so the idea is if we can get two tractors that have both got a front loader and a bale fork attached, we can then get that... Uh, work done together collectively so we are going to actually uh, size increase the bales uh, I've never done this before um, so okay you just press K no, okay we're going to go for 8,000 litre bale capacity uh, and that's just to uh, reduce some of the numbers of the uh, bales so there's less for us to have to manage um, yeah I know not particularly realistic but in this style of gameplay it's just going to help us move along uh, a great deal quicker so the first bale is actually going to just be standard straw so I probably should have changed the bale size after we'd dropped the first bale out but never mind we've got plenty of soybean straw to go around and there we go, we have switched to soybean straw. Cool. So yeah, we are now going to get this all bailed up. Nordic is going to finish harvesting the soybean. And then profits from the oats and the profits from the soybean are going to go towards buying our next tractor. And uh, yeah, we're going to have three tractors on the farm the Fent, this tractor, the Schluter and um, I'll wait for uh, Nordic to show you which uh, tractor it is we're going to buy but it's going to be one that's going to have a front attacher so we can have basically two front loaders and we can uh, then look to load bales at the same time yep the uh, Schluter is a little bit slower up these hills the uh, baler draws quite a lot of horsepower but nonetheless we are going to, to crack on and get this all bailed up And there we are. We have finished collecting up all of the soybean straw and baling it into 8,000 litre bales. So there's still quite a fair few to pick up. Let's uh, unload the last one that's in the baler and then we can get that folded up. So Nordic has taken the fent with the soybean um, grain in it to sell and... I think we'll just make use of the time by 
taking the Schluter and the new John Deere baler back to the farm. Now you might notice that um, the, John, uh, the Schluter tractor was struggling with running the John Deere baler uphill and it was, it was going painfully slow. Um, so I just tried to do uh, the small strips uphill and then do the majority of them downhill so it's a little bit faster and uh, turning the baler on and off and raising and lowering it uh, helped as well. Yep let's get the uh, baler and the Schluter back to the farm and then we should hopefully be seeing our new tractor joining the farm. I can see Nordic across the way dropping the soybean into the boat. Right, so we've dropped the baler back at the farm and I have uh, taken the fent whilst uh, Nordic is off in the boat taking the soybean to the boat unloading station and I've come back to the field, um, picked up the trailer and I'm going to use this smaller trailer to pick up the soybean straw bales as uh, there's fewer of those and um, yeah, with the funds from the soybeans, it looks like we're going to be able to buy a uh, bigger bale trailer to do the normal straw with. So yeah, I'm going to just deposit this trailer in field number 12 and start loading some soybean straw. Probably going to be a bit of a long slog, but I'm going to try and do as a... Uh, much as I can in the time that we've got left in the day so yeah let's get the weight swapped around to the back and uh, yeah I'm gonna start loading up so I will see you in a short while So I have loaded all of the soybean straw bales and it's on the small trailer here. In the meantime uh, Nordic has been over and bought a new uh, bale trailer, looks to be a Flieger one uh, if I'm not mistaken and yet yeah, just got that parked in the uh, oat field where we've got uh, a lot of bales that we're going to need to put onto the trailer. 
So we're going to do a little bit of that now. Uh, whilst I'm waiting for Nordic to come back, I'm just going to go sell the soybean straw. And that sells at the straw barn, which uh, is at the top of this map here. So yeah, going to go sell these bales and hopefully get a nice profit from it. There we go. So, yeah, we made around 26,000. Yeah, pretty good. So let's journey on back to the field and start collecting up some of the straw. We are losing the daylight, so not sure how far we'll get, but we shall see. And here he is, the Nordic farmer, in his new tractor. What has he bought? That looks to be a Massey Ferguson. Let's take a quick look at the garage and see what it is. Oh yes, it is the Massey Ferguson 5710S. Uh, yeah, 100 horsepower. And uh, yeah, looking pretty good. Very nice, so you get to see that in action, and we've of course got another tractor with a front loader, so uh, it's going to make for some uh, double stacking time. So we should get this field sorted in no time. Looks very nice that, very smart red tractor. Cool, so... Uh, Let's get a few done and uh, see how we get on. Right, okay, so we have loaded as many bales as we can. There are still a few, but yeah, the uh, bale trailer is looking pretty neat. And uh, yeah, there's a lot on there, so uh, we're going to have to deal with that next time. We have a uh, run out of, uh, of daytime. But yeah, um, that's it for today. Uh, it's been quite a long session, but we uh, started off by harvesting the oats uh, put some of that into farm storage for horses later on and also sold some in the boat which was uh, really really good uh, got a good profit from that 
and uh, that went towards uh, some of the purchases later on. We obviously bailed up the oat straw, uh, which are the bales which we've just loaded onto the bale trailer with the uh, yams truck. We also harvested the soybean and got some soybean straw bales out of that as well, which uh, was pretty cool. Um, yeah, they uh, sold for a very good price and they were 8,000 litres uh, a bale. Uh, so yeah, we got about just shy of £30,000 from those bales. And uh, yeah, at the end there, uh, Nordic and I were loading the bale trailer uh, from the proceeds of the crop and uh, the bales. Nordic has bought a new tractor, which is a Massey Ferguson. Looks very good and uh, yeah, is a nice addition to the farm. It has a front attacher and a, uh, a front uh, linkage point to be able to run uh, whatever we need uh, from the front which is pretty good and uh, means we can do duos bale loading which uh, definitely saves a lot of time yeah we're just heading back to the farm now to end our end our day Right, and there we are, finishing up for today. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. As always, a big thank you for any views, likes, subscribes. And if you've got any tips, trips, tricks, or things you'd like us to try, then please leave a comment. Also, please check out uh, Nordic's channel, where you'll see the video from his perspective. And um, yeah, we look forward to seeing you again next time. Cool. Catch you later then. Cheers. Bye-bye.